How many sales are you losing to go along, get along itis? Now, this is an affliction that can occur at any selling step or stage. And this is when salespeople write those practice proposals for prospects that are never going to buy. And if you've been in sales long enough, I know I've certainly authored a few of these proposals. Now, how does this happen? Well, in many situations, you might be meeting with that prospect. You are running a great meeting. I mean, you're building rapport, trust. You're asking great discovery questions, provocative questions, but the answers coming from the prospect aren't that great. I mean, you're not hearing a compelling reason to change, trigger event. There's no strategic impact for up-leveling whatever they're doing. However, the prospect utters the magic words. This sounds interesting. Could you put something together? And at that point, a new selling stage shows up, the go along to get along selling stage. Now, why is this happening? We've read the sales books, attended the sales training, because often we haven't mastered the sales EQ and the sales IQ. The sales EQ being assertiveness, which is the ability to state what you need nicely. And in sales, what you need is a qualified opportunity. But at the root cause of not being assertive is often maybe our fear or worry. I don't want to upset the apple cart. I don't want to upset this prospect. I never want to eliminate myself from this opportunity, so I'm going to go along to get along. The sales IQ piece is, let's be real, to be good in sales, to have the difficult conversation, the assertive conversation, you need to role play and practice a lot. So when you make the statement, stating what you need nicely, you do it confidently and comfortably. So the question of the week, how many sales are you losing to go along to get along itis? I'm Colleen Stanley, President of Sales Leadership. Thanks for joining me today.